What's up, my people out there uh, in the land of schoolie conversions? It's Jeremy again, um, just here today. Going to try to remove some of this uh, lettering so we're no longer a school bus. And uh, some of this reflective tape. Got two tools, a little razor blade, and my heat gun, and some gloves down there. Um, luckily, I used to do sign making and I've removed plenty of vinyl before in my life, so I don't think it's necessary to get a rub wheel for it, for a drill, like you see a lot of people doing. Uh, if I do struggle with it, I'll just struggle a little harder and make it work. So uh, enjoy this little time lapse, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace. bad at all. I was able to peel off the vinyl lettering. Sorry about that. There's always some noise when you don't need it. So I've got a few more. I gotta do these emergency exit lettering. But like I was saying, a few more uh, uh, what do you call it reflective strips that I'll need to peel off down the window. And then of course up here in the front behind that tape. It's that school bus again. But um yeah, I'm gonna get a trash bag, go clean this mess up. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad, you know. Um, I was hoping and praying that the vinyl was still pliable, and it was, so um, yeah, happy with the results of that. Uh, it's just a small step in this conversion. I'll show you what else I got going on today. I probably won't attack it today, but I've got this uh, little riveter. Harbor Freight, some of these uh, double-ended drill bits, because um, I gotta drill into this metal here. I got quite a lot of rust going on. I've already started, and I might have gotten ahead of myself. I'm gonna put like a probably like a, a one-inch lip when I cut this metal out, so I have something to adhere to. But I'll, I'll end up doing it back here, so this is not a big deal. Um, I'll try to leave a little flash in the side over here. Same thing goes here. So it's just like a little one inch lip. So I can uh, pop these eighth inch rivets in here. I figure aluminum wouldn't rust and it's gonna be underneath the subfloor. So as long as I uh, space them about two inches apart, you know, it's a lot of drilling and a lot of work, but probably much better than having a weld. I've got some uh, butyl caulking there, which is uh, basically for metal seams and stuff. So probably the best sealant to use also underneath the, the new galvanize that I put there so that's another uh, day another project it's really hot today so I don't even feel like taking off the lettering off the front of the bus plus I need to get over the garage soon and uh, check on uh, our vehicle it's getting a complete overhaul on the engine well not complete but some uh, oil leak seals and stuff like that so yep here at the Utah Beans bus gonna Grab some room temperature water and uh, try not to overheat here. Close up these windows and uh, call it a day. But I'm glad I was able to get the lettering off the back at least. So that makes me uh, happy that it was easy coming off. 
a lot of people that struggle with that and have to get the rubber wheel for your drill. And, and yeah, that is uh, workable, but there's solvents and stuff that you can get all that glue off with. And we're gonna have to sand this whole bus down anyway. It's probably gonna be painting when that time comes. So uh, yeah, thanks for joining me on this one. Uh, glad I could shorten it a little bit and not waste too much of your day. I uh, hope you guys are doing well out there. Thanks for following along. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe down below. Uh, ring that little notification bell. You know the deal. Give us a comment if you feel. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Utopia Plus signing off and out. Peace.